Doctor, we should make a move. We're very light. Finally. And this must be our professor from across the sea. Yes, George Grusin. This is Dr. Bean. I'm delighted, Doctor. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I'm... I'm Dr. I'm, Bean, let me get a photo, Bean. please, sir. Yeah. Right there. We've heard a great deal about you, Doctor. Thank you, gentlemen. I expect a great deal of you. And this is Bernice, in charge of PR. An absolute honor, Doctor. All right, thank you. And Walter Huntley, our merchandise manager. Nice to meet you. Long, take a seat, Doctor. Thank you. Here, let me take that old thing. <laughs> this is very out of date. Thank you. Before we settle in, you might want to feast your eyes on these. I'll be honest with you, Bean. I like this. It's it's beautiful, sir. Mm. I, I do. It mm. is, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, over here. Okay. Mm. Lovely green there. Oh, good, good. Done okay. business. Okay. I've asked Bernice to run through the order of events for the opening. Uh, Dr. Bean, would you like to join us? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, I'll just... Uh, uh, very well. Bernice? Now, you will note that anything pertaining to special media requirements is prefixed with an asterisk, mm -hmm. i.e. glossy stills requested by some of the favored weeklies, that sort of thing. Right. So, the big day unfolds as follows. Our generous benefactor, General Newton, will be arriving at 10 a.m. to meet the members of the staff. Then at 10.30, we'll have the unveiling of the picture. Now, this will be in front of all press and media. Uh, Walter, I'm assuming all this merchandising is going to be made available. Oh, absolutely. From fridge magnets to frisbees, we'll be ready. So, it will probably be at about 11 a.m. when the stage is set for Dr. Bean. Oh, yes. All right. Really really should bring in the doctor here. Uh, Dr. Bean? Doctor, we've just been inspecting the schedule, and if you would just like to take a look at yours right over there at your convenience. Uh, the general should be arriving at 10 a.m. and he'll unveil the picture at 10.30. So at about 11 o'clock, we should be um, ready for your speech. Yes, and uh, I think uh, 20 minutes should, should be long enough. Don't you, Bernice? Absolutely. I know you could fill hours, doctor, but for the press, it would be best if you could keep it quite light. Maybe throw in some anecdotes about the actual painting of the picture, 
uh, and explain why it is considered to be America's greatest painting. Mm -hmm. is, uh, is that going to be enough, uh, Doctor? 20 minutes? Well, dear friends, if you'll excuse me, I have a lunch with the mayor. Not the kind of thing I like, but duty calls. Well, Doctor, it's good to meet you. It's a complex experience. <laughs> Enjoy your stay with David. They're simple people, but warm. David, if I may have just a private word. Okay. Uh, I tell you, why don't you wait for me back at the new acquisitions? I'll join you shortly. Oh. Yeah.